Welcome to All Theory, No Conspiracy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click to receive notifications, and leave a comment. Sabbatai Zavi was a Sephardic ordained rabbi from what was Smyrna and now known as Izmir, Turkey. A Kabbalist, Zavi claimed to be the long-awaited Jewish Messiah. He was the founder of the Sabbatean movement, whose followers, subsequently, were to be known as Donme, converts, or crypto-Jews. Do Sabbatean Frankists still exist today and occupy positions of power and influence? In February 1666, upon arriving in Constantinople, Sabbatai was imprisoned in September of that same year for judgment on accusations of fomenting sedition. The Grand Vizier gave Zavi the choice of either facing death or of converting to Islam. Sabatai chose to convert. He was then rewarded by the heads of the Ottoman state with a generous pension for his compliance with their political and religious plans. Many within Zavi's inner circle followed him into Islam, including his wife Sarah, and most of his closest relatives and friends. Nathan Benjamin Ashkenazi, AKA Nathan of Gaza, never followed Zavi into Islam, but remained a Jew, although he was excommunicated by his Jewish brethren. In spite of Sabbatai's seeming conversion to Islam, many of his followers still passionately believed in him and believed that his feigned conversion was a part of the messianic scheme. This belief was further upheld and strengthened by the likes of Nathan of Gaza and Samuel Primo, who were interested in maintaining the movement. They believed that any outward acts were irrelevant as long as one inwardly remained Jewish. Those who embraced the theory of sacred sin believed that the Torah could be fulfilled by performing immoral acts which would bring about its annulment. Some believers felt they could remain faithful Shabbatians without outwardly displaying as such. After Zavi's death in 1676, the sect continued to flourish. Shabbatianism reached a peak in the 18th century with Jacob Frank, who in 1751 also declared himself a messiah and a reincarnation of Zavi. The followers of Frank's versions of Zavi's cult became known as Frankists. At its height, Frankism claimed perhaps 50,000 followers, primarily Jews living in Poland, as well as in Central and Eastern Europe. Like Zavi, Frank believed in transgressing Jewish commandments, and he also performed actions that violated Jewish prohibitions, such as eating foods forbidden by kashrut, the Jewish dietary laws, practicing ritual incest, and celebrating fast days as feast days. The Frankists employed a deceptive belief system they believed one must not appear to be as they really are. This belief justified the double lives they led. They could appear to be Jewish on the outside and in reality be a Frankist. The Donme officially converted to Islam, but remained crypto-Jews. It was the same with many Frankists who officially converted to Catholicism. The term Donme is a Turkish word meaning to turn, revolve, or return, to betray, and to convert to another religion. 
it has come to refer to religious converts in general, and more specifically, to the followers of Zavi and their descendants, who outwardly converted to Islam, but retained their secretive religious practices over the next several centuries. The great majority of Frankists, who outwardly appeared to embrace Judaism, integrated themselves into the Jewish community. Despite the fact that they were all outwardly religious, they still pursued a goal of the annihilation of every religion and positive system of belief. For the Frankist, this anarchic destruction represented the Luciferian principle that great is a sin committed for its own sake. The Frankists taught that the major religions needed to be destroyed. Elijah represented the ultimate Messiah, who was reached by destroying Judaism, then Islam, and the last portal of Christianity. After the revolution that would occur, Big Brother would come to rule the earth. Yes, Big Brother. The Frankists enticed women to leave their husbands and to join their orgies. Families were broken up by the hundreds. In 1752, Frank married a beautiful Bulgarian Jewish woman named Chana. He utilized her, as per the custom of his sect, to entice the hundreds of men who had affairs with her to build up the strength of his sect. After Frankists, burned copies of the Talmud and accused Jews of ritual murders. In the city of Satanau in 1756, rabbis formally excommunicated Frank and all of his followers. They prohibited intermarriage with any members of the Frankist sect. Rabbi Jacob Emden wrote in a letter that it was forbidden for anyone to have mercy on them. After the rabbis succeeded in reducing the sect, Frankists turned up in Moravia and Vienna. There was already an influential clan in Prague that predated Jakob Frank. Many of the Frankist families at this time were wealthy elites. It may be that their low morals and evil intent allowed them to move into the lucrative vice trades that the traditional religious peoples avoided. As many of the Frankists were now officially Catholic, they were then able to join or form Masonic lodges. The elite inbred Frankist families operated out of the Mason order of Asiatic Brethren in Vienna. More lodges were opened in Hamburg and Berlin. Gentile Masonic lodges were opened to Jewish converts to Christianity, especially among men of wealth who could provide money and sexual favors. This led to a deeper infiltration and control. Though they had a tendency to intermarry and inbreed within their own group, the elite Luciferian Frankists had no problem assimilating into select, wealthy Catholic families. Frank's daughter Ava slept with Crown Prince and future Emperor Joseph II in Vienna, where for a time Frank was welcome within the court. The Habsburgs thought Frank could be useful in converting and assimilating Jews. The pattern continuously emerges of wealthy Luciferians who are addicted to power and anxious to destroy religions, indulge in radicalism, and to live double lives. Posing as Jewish, Catholics, Protestants, or Muslims, while indulging their true beliefs in secret, even as Frankism diminished, its belief system maintained a strong hold within the Catholic faith through its Frankist converts. Near the end of his life, Frank lived in Offenbach, just outside Frankfurt. He settled there in 1786, lived like a king, and formed a militia. When the Frankists established themselves in 1786 in Offenbach, they were sponsored by unidentified philanthropists of the Frankfurt community. Jakob Frank died in Offenbach 
on August the 10th, 1791. During the Frankfurt Masonic Lodge's formative years, the three most active members of the Frankfurt Judenloge were Frankist influenced. Sigmund Geisenheimer, Michael Hess, and Justice Hiller. They were also leaders in the liberal Jewish reformist movement. Hess was hired by Mayor Amschel Rothschild as a tutor for his children. Geisenheimer was Meyer Rothschild's head clerk. Frankism received a large boost from the richest family in Europe. Incidentally, 29 out of 58 of Mayor Amschel Rothschild's grandchildren married their first or second cousins. The coalition between the secret societies of Illuminism and Freemasonry was formed in 1782 at the Congress of Wilhelmbad. The other movement that was brought forth at the Congress was a pro-Semitism or the emancipation of the Jews. This included opening up the Masonic lodges to them. The base of the Illuminati was relocated to Rothschild Center of Frankfurt at the same time. This new movement corresponded with the rise of the Frankist influenced House of Rothschild, as well as the emergence of the powerful Jewish families of Oppenheimer, Wertheimer, Schuster, Spire, and Stern. This is not an attempt to discredit Judaism or Jewish people in any way. It is a narrative about a group who broke away from Orthodox Judaism approximately 400 years ago, infiltrated Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, and also merged with very powerful families whose influence plays a key part in world affairs to this day, in banking, politics, big business, and entertainment. There will be links to five articles about Sabbatean Frankism, its influence on the world, and the origin of the Don May. There will also be two links to YouTube videos about Sabbatean Frankism and the Rothschild family, and a link to a detailed slideshow about Sabbatean ties to the New World Order in the description below this video. The end? Stay tuned for more content from All Theory, No Conspiracy. Thank you for watching.